In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I want to show you how to create small multiple line charts. Sometimes you'll hear these called panel charts as well. This came about because I was inspired by this visualization created by 538, where you look at the favorability of Republican candidates in the current U.S. election. And what I really like about this is how you can easily see many candidates in a single view, and they're evenly spread throughout the view. And I've seen panel charts created in Tableau before, but I wanted to learn how to do it myself. So today, I'm going to pass that knowledge on to you. So let's start by looking at the Republican polling data. We have a series of candidates, and then we have a series of polls. So I'm going to right-click and drag poll date. And let's go ahead and just make it continuous for now. And I have a field called net favorability rating. You can see I've already defaulted that to an average. And I get a series of lines, and I've got, uh, it looks like I have 14 candidates. But what I really want to do is I want to, I want to fit these candidates in the best way within this view. So how do I go about doing that? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take candidate, and I'm going to move candidate to the detail. And now you see I basically have a big mess. Okay, but no problem. We're going to fix that. We have to basically create a couple of, of table calculations, or I'm sorry, a couple of calculations that are going to tell Tableau how to split up the view into equal parts. So to do that, let's click on the caret or Jeremy and do create calculated field. And let's just call this our column divider. The formula for this is pretty straightforward. We want to take the index, which basically just counts, and subtract one and then take the modulus of the round of the square root of the size function. And the size here basically refers to the size of the view. And I just need to make sure I add enough parentheses there to get that right. Okay, so we'll hit okay there. And you can look up all of these as well on, uh, on, the, uh, on the, the help site or download this workbook after the video and you can see how I created these. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to convert that to discrete. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another calculate, calculated field to divide up my rows. So let's call this our row divider. And the formula for this is going to be an integer. And it's going to be the index minus 1 again, divided by the round of the square root. So a very sim similar formula, oh, SQRT of size. And then I need to make sure that I uh, put all of my brackets correctly. So I need to put one here and I need one more on the end. So that looks like it's probably right. Okay, so we got the integer index minus one. Yeah, that looks good too. Okay, so let's hit okay. And then let's convert that one to discrete. So here I named these column dividers so I know where to put them. So I'm going to take column divider and put that in the columns. I'm going to take row divider and put that in the rows. Okay, well, that doesn't look right. Well, what we need to do is we need to tell Tableau how to calculate these views. So we want to calculate by candidate. So I'm going to click on each of my um, dividers. I'm going to go down to compute using and choose candidate. And then do the same thing for my row divider, compute using by candidate. Okay, so now you can see we've got a view. Um, it's not, uh, it doesn't look like it's quite right. So let me double check my formulas. So let me go back in here and let's check this one again. So we want to do the integer of the index minus one. Okay, so we've got integer index minus one divided by the round of the square root of the size, and then one, two, three, and I think I am missing a parentheses. Yep, so I need to put an integer around the whole thing. I need to convert the whole thing to an integer. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, there we go. That's the view we're looking for. All right, and now you can see as we hover over, we've got each candidate. Okay, great. Now, the next thing that I want to do here is I want to tell Tableau how to sort these. So I'm going to create another calculated field, and I'm just going to call it my sort. And in this case, I'm going to use a level of detail calculation. I'm going to say if, and I'm going to put in my squiggly to start my uh, LED calc. I'm going to do fixed on the candidate. Oops. Candidate. 
colon. And then I want to do the max poll date. And then I want to go ahead and close the squiggly there. So basically, I'm just trying to get the maximum uh, poll date for each candidate. And if that's equal to my poll date, and let me go ahead and close this, make this a little bit bigger. Then I want to just get the net fit or the uh, yeah the net favorability. End. Okay, very good. And uh, otherwise, it's going to basically return null. So that's fine. And let's go ahead. And now we've got the candidate here. So let's go ahead and sort my candidates. I want to do it in descending order by my sort field. And I want to do it on the average, not the sum. And hit OK. And now you can see we've got this nice sorted view here. I have 135 nulls because there are some, some candidates that have dropped out of the race and they lo no longer have polls. So I'm going to just hide that indicator. So from here, um, the reason that I chose to sort them in this particular way is so that I could see which candidates were, uh, were doing the best so far. And then on the end, maybe I'll just go ahead and show the, the labels on the ends of each line. And maybe I'll go ahead and allow them to overlap. So you could, from there, you could do a lot of customization if you want. Uh, maybe add the candidate names, different things like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uncheck the header, show header here. And I want to hide the header for both of these. All right. And then maybe on this axis, I'm going to just take off the, the title. And maybe I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of the title on my uh, my poll end date as well. Okay, great. Uh, from here, maybe I'll go ahead and change the color, maybe to red because that's the Republican color. Um, and you could even do something like make this a uh, two-week average. So the reason I'm using an average here is because some days there's several polls. So I want to go ahead and make sure that um, uh, that I take the average of the polls on those dates. Now, one thing I might want to do here is I might want to go ahead and format my uh, my number format for my net favorability. And you can see I've got it currently set to zero decimals, but I want to go ahead and I want to put a plus uh, before the um, uh, the, the uh, prefix there. And uh, actually, let's go ahead and customize that at this point. So if it's positive, I want to do a plus. If it's negative, I want to do a minus. And you can see now, I can see like for this example, we've got Trump with a positive 32 favorability rating. OK, so from here, I'm just going to go ahead and clean up my tooltips and just get rid of the extra stuff there. Maybe do a little bit of formatting. And I'm going to switch it to my favorite font, which is Avenir. Go ahead and get rid of my row and column dividers because I don't need those. Uh, maybe set my zero line to a solid line instead, probably make it a lighter gray. And let's go ahead and make our grid lines dashed lines instead. Okay, and maybe I'll make those a lighter gray as well. Or maybe that's too maybe that's too light. Okay, so something like that. And you can continue to play with it from there. If you go back to my original Makeover Monday, you'll see uh, how I've done this a little bit differently. Actually, let me go ahead and format this again. And I'm going to put my columns back on there. So let's go ahead and clear this. And there we go. So now we've got a nice split up view. Now, um, OK, so from this point, um, I can go ahead and throw that on a dashboard and be done with that. When I polish up the visualization at the end, you'll see what I've done.